Hello there people, the internet is trying to survive here, bringing another epic video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a craft bucket server. So, and also if you look in the description, one of the links will take you to the video that I'm actually um, rendering and uploading right now, but um, it's basically, it's how to fix a lot of the Minecraft server errors that you will get. So hopefully, the, if you do get one, the one that you guys get will be in that video. There's 12 of them. So, yes. But, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description that will bring you here, which is Craft Bucket Downloads. And you're going to want to download the version of the server that you want to make. So, it has all of the downloads and... Um, say that you want to make it for 1.7.10, you just want to download this, just click that, and then click keep, if you're using Chrome. And then we'll be back once that downloads. Or actually, while that's downloading, what you can do, it'll probably download faster for you, it's just because I'm uploading a video, so yeah. But what you can do is go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want, and just name it Bucket Server or whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Bucket Server because uh, it's just, you know, <laughs> but so then, yeah, now we'll see you once it's done. Okay, guys, so next, as that is downloading, it's almost done, as you can see, but whatever. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Notepad. Um, so, then, in Notepad, you can either, or, there's an alternate thing that you could do instead of this, but basically, in the description, there, well, actually, no, forget about the alternate thing that I said, but in the description, there will be a, um, a little thing in the description, I, I just not said that again, but it will basically say this, and what you're going to want to do is just copy that and paste it into the notepad that you just now opened. In order to copy something, you just highlight it, right click, and then click copy, or just press control C once you highlight it, and then to paste it, press control V, or right click and click paste. You should know how to do that though. But So then, once you have this, just go ahead and exit off, click save, and then type in run or whatever you want, and then save as type all files, and then actually you have to type in run.bat or minecraft.bat, whatever you want, doesn't matter. But yeah, so then you type that in and then you click save. Make sure that you have save as type all files. And then that will save this little thingy. Now this, you're going to want to drag it into this little bucket server folder that you have. Next, you're going to want to find the craft bucket that you just now downloaded from that one site. And you're going to want to drag that to the bucket server also. Now you're going to want to rename this to craft bucket it cannot be named anything else just craft bucket and now you're basically done you want to click run and uh, this may take a tiny bit because I'm um, uploading something and recording at the same time um, I'll be right back okay guys so yeah now you'll get this error saying you need to agree with the EULA in order to run a server go to EULA.txt for more information so, what you're going to want to do, it'll download this little thingy in your server. You want to open up that, and then, um, basically, by indicating, by, by changing the setting below to true, you're indicating that your agreement to this, which, basically, it's like the Mojang, whoops, it's basically the Mojang, like, the website, it's the U E U L A, which you have to agree to, so I'll just put this in here. So, basically, you're going to want to read through this, and if you agree to everything, then you are going to change this E U L A to true, and then save, and click run again and this time it will actually sorry about that this time it will do this 
it will start like saying all this stuff it's normal to get this you know on the first time and stuff but then eventually it'll start saying preparing spawn area all this stuff and then once it says done you now have a server so yes you now have a server but there are some things that you're gonna want to know that I'm going to teach you now so basically there's such thing as port forwarding and basically what port forwarding is it is where you basically open up your browser for certain things you you can obviously open up the ports of whatever you want but so you'd want to port forward minecraft for example and then people that are like outside of your local connection basically not connected to your wi-fi they can join your minecraft server and stuff so yeah you're gonna have to port forward in order to do that or if you don't know how to port forward because i understand it is complicated for like a lot of people so if you don't understand how to port forward what you're gonna want to do is watch the tutorial i may put it on the screen now if i do that but so yeah, what you're going to want to do is just watch the tutorial that is either on the screen now, you can click it, or that is just in the description. It's basically Hamachi. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but it's basically an alternate way of port forwarding that isn't hard at all. So yeah, but now what I'm going to show you is how people can connect once you have your port forwarding thing set up or Hamachi. So what you're going to want to do is type in IP chicken or there's a link in the description and then click this and this will tell you your IP yes this is my IP but it doesn't matter if you guys know this one because this isn't your IPv4 it's not like anything bad to show people so then you're gonna want to copy this or just like type it in but yeah this is your IP you would probably want to like memorize this maybe I don't know if you're gonna have a server but so yeah <coughs> So, sorry about that, but yeah, so this is your IP, so just go ahead and copy that, and now, if you go to Minecraft, then as this opens up Minecraft, it should open really fast, hopefully, come on Minecraft, come on, don't fail me, okay, so yeah, as you can see, once it opens, you're going to want to go to multiplayer. This is what everyone else does, too. And then they go to add server or just direct connect. doesn't matter. But yeah, just type in add server. And then you can either type in your IP. I, I know it by heart. 9.4.70.205. Or you can just press control V to paste it if you copied it. And then you click done. You can name it to my server or you can name it to whatever you want click done as you can see it says it is online yay so okay <laughs> yeah that's an error that I that I get sometimes it's just because I'm hosting the server my network is a bit weird but yeah as you can see oh yeah um, it'll say this if you try to do commands or anything I'm sorry but you know I have a purpose in. yeah so basically what you're gonna want to do is go to this little thing, this little black box thingy that your server is running on. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to have this open in order to have the server open, to, in order to do everything. So, what you're going to want to do is type in OP and then your in-game name. Yes, my dad is my name. I had it whenever I was young, okay? I got it whenever Minecraft first came out, whenever it was free. So, um, <laughs> basically... Once you have opt yourself, I didn't even tell you, you have to type in OP and then your name. I think I told you, I don't know. So then, now you have the ability to do everything. So you can go into game mode 1 by typing in slash game mode space 1. And then, <coughs> um, yeah, as you can see, you have a server. It's very exciting. You can, like, go around and place blocks everywhere and stuff. But, yes, so now... I'm going to be showing you guys something else that is very cool about your server. So, next I'm going to be showing you guys how to install plugins to your server. So, it's very simple to install a plugin. Basically, you're going to want to go to Bucket and then go to Get Plugins. 
Oh gosh, load. It's so just laggy because the thing, my other things, yeah. Um, so basically, and then you can get any plugin that you want. I'll just get, um, I don't know, um, I know, essentials. In order to get essentials, you actually have to type in essentials and just type in bucket because this it's like dev bucket it's not actual bucket so yeah but you just click download download again and then it will download this usually it will not download a zip file <coughs> only certain plugins do but then you're gonna want to open it if it is a zip file usually it will download these files essentials.jars jar files so what you're gonna want to do is open up your plugin server inside of your server and then just drag all of the plugins that you want to install for essentials you have to drag like all of these in here it's five different plugins but technically it's only one you know they all do different stuff you don't have to have them all but so yeah that's one of the plugins it's so simple to install so yeah in the the plugin should always be a jar file so if it's like a zip file you know then that means that it's like you have to open it and then drag the jar file in there so yeah it's very simple to install a plugin and now if we just go back to minecraft really fast okay we are back so yeah basically something else to know any time that you like edit your server change the plugin something like that you have to type in reload to the start and then yeah into your little run about thingy oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh I'll be back okay it finally worked this only happens to me if it happens to you then you just have to basically keep on re trying to um just yeah but um plug metric okay top down disabling metrics for um okay so if you type in slash plugins now as you can see you have all the essentials so basically essentials is like the best bucket plugin in the world because it does so many things it allows you to slash heal look if you take damage by a shape if if you like um how can i take damage um spawn mob this is another part of essentials zombie i'll just spawn one Hey, hurt me. So if you're damaged or something, or if you lost hunger, just type in slash heal and it'll heal you. So many things. It allows you to, like, TPA uh, so much stuff. Like, if you type in, wait, whoops, help, it'll tell you all the stuff. Like, if you type in assen help essentials, it'll show you all of the things that it allows you to do. So many commands just it just goes on forever so like like for example it's just a bunch of useful stuff like this like slash lightning boom it's just summons down lightning oh yeah something else really cool to know about essentials if you hold any sort of item in your hand and then type in slash pt or slash power tool and then you type in a command such as pt lightning then whenever you click it'll do that command so you can just go like this and just summon lightning everywhere this is why bucket servers are good so yeah but yes okay so um next i'm going to be showing you guys how to basically do stuff so anytime you're going to close down your server type in slack type in stop to that because then if not it may not like save right or something so then you're going to want to go back into here and then you're going to want to open up notepad or whatever you use it doesn't matter and then you're basically going to want to drag the server.properties into here so basically what server.properties is it is basically what controls your server so you can change things such as the MOTD the MOTD is the like message of the day like you can change it to YOLO my name is swag J just kidding guys okay my name is cool 
and I'm a beast. And then you can like change spawn monsters to chew all this stuff. Enable command blocks, that's a big one. You wanna name that enable that to chew, or if you wanna have it off for some reason, doesn't matter. But yeah, so then you're gonna want to close it and click save. And let's see, what else? Um if you open up notepad again um if you you can just you can easily just control who is op by having this but it's just easier to type out all of the like just type out slash all op and then all the names you know it's just easier like that but yeah this is basically how to create a bucket server for minecraft 1.7 point or minecraft any version for that matter i mean so yeah and some other stuff like that so again if you would like to um, watch the video on if you have a Minecraft server error, you know, then that will be on screen now, hopefully. So, if not, then it's in the description, as I said before. So, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you would like more tutorials or more videos, then please tell me, and I will do that. So, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Peace off. Bye.